Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about the 10 most useful digital marketing tools that you can use to become a spectacular marketer for your business. So if that's something that interests you, stick around. My name is Amanda Abeya. I'm the founder of Make Money Your Honey, where we believe in working smart instead of unnecessarily hard. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because we've got regular content coming out to help you work smart, not hard, and grow your business in a more sustainable way. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up because you would be helping us with our mission to get this in front of more people so they can build more sustainability in their lives. And I would love to cordially invite you to a free class that I teach, which is all about about how I built a multiple six-figure coaching business in two years. It's gonna give a lot more context into how to use a lot of the tools that I'm gonna be talking about in today's video, so I will leave the information for that below. Okay, so why is this so important? The reason why this is so important is because um, Marketing is close to everything in your business. The reality is that sales is everything in your business and you don't necessarily need to do a ton of marketing to get sales, but marketing definitely helps sales. They're, they're meant to work together. I've actually done a recent video on this. You can check that one out. But marketing is kind of a big deal because if people don't know who you are, then it, it doesn't matter. You could be the best at what you do, but if nobody knows you exist, who cares? they're not gonna pay you. So the other reason why this particular topic is so important is because we wanna get strategic and smart with our marketing. This is not about throwing spaghetti against the wall. This is about having a specific strategy that's gonna attract people to you. And I'll share a couple of tools that can help you do that in today's video. And finally, it's also about streamlining the process, right? If we can find things that make it easier for us to be more effective and consistent, then let's do it. So if you see me looking down on my phone, it's because I have a very, I have a list of 10 right now that I'm gonna go through. So the first one is ClickFunnels. I've been using ClickFunnels for years and basically what it is is a landing page software. So whether you're giving away freebies or your opt-ins or you want to use it as a sales page, ClickFunnels is really cool because they've actually done a lot of research to find out what actually converts and what actually gets attention uh, to convert people either into leads or buyers. Now, of course, you still need to write the copy yourself, but it's very helpful to have an inexpensive software that helps you get it done very quickly and their reporting is pretty good as well. So we literally use this for all of the landing pages for our freebies like our sales script, which you can get below if you wanna check out ClickFunnels in action. Uh, we've also used it for some sales pages depending on the item that we're selling. You can also do automated webinars. There's a lot that you can really do with it. All right, so the next one um, is related. It's called Funnel Scripts. And I've also been using this for years. I email my list daily and a lot of people are like, well, how in the hell are you doing that? And uh, there's a really cool tool called Funnel Scripts and just, just Google Funnel Scripts login um, and I think you can purchase it from there. Otherwise it will take you to like a big webinar or something like that or a challenge. But basically what Funnel Scripts is, it's a software where you can plug in information like who your audience is, who your market is, what their biggest struggle is, and it will spit out a bunch of stuff. It will spit out headlines, it will spit out a sales copy, it will spit out email copy, it will spit out um, long form sales letters, video sales letters, all of your copy marketing needs, it can spit out for you using their formulas. So I highly recommend it. It is such a huge, huge time saver and it's worth the investment. Uh, the next thing that I use right now is CoSchedule. This is my current social media marketing schedule. It's very inexpensive. It's easy to use. 
I market like a mad woman. You all know this and you're always asking me how I do it. I've used so many social media schedulers throughout the years and there are a lot of really good ones. I just happen to be digging co-schedule right now because it, it's just so quick and easy to use and I don't have a whole lot of time. So co-schedule for social media marketing. The next one is um, Flick. And Flick is really cool for hashtags. So what I like about Flick is you can use it for hashtags on Instagram and I think also TikTok. And you can do hashtag research so you can find out what has low competition but high reach in order to use the proper hashtags to get in front of potential buyers and leads and expand your reach. Very cool tool, highly recommend it. The next thing is Loom and this is great for uh, screen shares. I use this for screen shares with my team, but I also use it for screen shares and training. Some of the screen shares you have seen in these videos were created with Loom, also super inexpensive, quick and easy to use. From there, let's talk a little bit about images. I'm a big fan of Canva. Basically all our images are made on Canva. And I know my way around Photoshop because I used to mess around with it as a teenager and basically Canva is all you need for your image needs. It has a ton of templates. There's a lot of capabilities that it has. Um, I do have a pro account. I would recommend that. Uh, if you know, it's an easy place to have my brand kit. It just makes life easier when it comes to graphics. Um, another one is Zub Title. So subtitle is what I use to create like square videos and also the Instagram story videos that some of you have seen, which uh, are well branded and also have captions on them. Subtitle is super easy, also inexpensive, and you can crank out so much video marketing with captions that actually looks really, really good and doesn't take you a whole lot of time to create. And their caption generator is actually pretty good. I don't find I have to edit it very much, which is a huge time saver. All right, the next is kind of a two for one. There's two that I use together. And the first one is Keywords Everywhere. This is a service and a plugin. And basically you can use it to do keyword research for your content. So I actually use this for our YouTube videos all the time to find out if people are searching for certain topics. So for example, I know that they're searching for law of assumption, so I'm gonna make a video on law of assumption. And when you're creating content, what you wanna do is you wanna create stuff that is related to your business that people are actually searching for so they can find you. And the next tool that I use in conjunction with keywords everywhere is called TubeBuddy. And TubeBuddy is basically going to give you the competition score of the keywords. So what you want to find is high search volume or high enough search volume and low competition. So keywords everywhere will tell you what the search volume is and then TubeBuddy will tell you whether or not um, the competition is high or low. So I use both of those tools together. It's created some very well performing videos for us. Uh, one of our highest performing videos is about creating a LinkedIn profile. And it's, I mean, that thing keeps on giving. It gets new views every single day. And a part of it is because the keyword research was so good and so strategic. And I use those two tools. And then uh, speaking of SEO, this is more for your website. Uh, if you have a site where you're using the WordPress CMS, then I highly recommend Yoast CEO. We used this for years when I was a freelance writer and content marketer. My clients used this for years. And basically what it does is that it will help you make sure that the content that you're putting on your blog or your website or your show notes for your podcast or your videos are search friendly so that when people are searching for those things, um, they will be easy to find. So it ensures that you have your, the keywords in all the right places, like the headline, the um, sections, descriptions, meta tags, all those kinds of things. All right, so those are my 10 favorite digital marketing tools of the moment. If you have any other tools that you can recommend, 
recommend. I would love to hear them, so please put them in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also make sure to share it with a friend. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because we have more regular videos coming out to help you work smart instead of hard.